I'm Ulrich Meinherz and I'm working at the Kessel House Josephson, this showroom, gallery space and storage room for the pieces of Hans Josephson. A center where, where the pieces coming in and going out, we are developing exhibitions uh, there and then bring the pieces to the museums like here in Oxford. Uh, he, when he was alive he was often there in the Kessel House uh, uh, to have a look at the new casts which was produced in the foundry nearby. In, in the last years he, he was able to afford the cast, so mm -hmm. uh, and he was really happy to see finally these pieces he made in the, for example, in the 50s and uh, were produced 60 years later. He was working in plastic, but finally mm -hmm. what he was interested in was to have the cast, to see the pieces as bronze or brass mm -hmm. casts. He was only interested in the difference of colors when you when you look at the pieces here in this show most of them have a quite vivid uh, natural patina we call it natural patina because these colors you see on the you see on the surface they they are coming out of the process of casting in his studio worked all the time with plaster this was more or less the, own, the only material he was working with. In plaster you can go in both directions. You, you can add material, you can put, uh, add some pieces or add the, the, f the more or less fluid plaster when it's something like a, a porridge or so. You mm. can add it with your hands. When you go close to the, to the pieces you see something like fingerprints, you see the movement of, of his spear hand, how he was adding uh, material, but you all the time find also uh, parts where you see how he cut the way, uh, for example with, a, with an axe, uh, when, the, when the plaster is hard, you, uh, you can cut it, his process of working was all the time uh, looking for the final Form and he, he had not a, a really clear imagination in his mind and then produced the, uh, that form but he was looking for the form and he, he, the, the imagination, the, the idea of what the piece should be finally developed while working on it. Uh, Josephson all the time worked parallel on, on different pieces uh, in his studio, maybe he, he worked on two or three half figures in the same in the same period but uh, parallel also he, wo he was working on reliefs uh, for example uh, so uh, it was a, a long process to arrive finally to the forms you see now in the exhibition as, as finished pieces he involved all the time also people around him, uh, friends, uh, uh, for example Lukas Forer who is uh, installing here together with, with me this e exhibition or also Felix Lehner, the, the owner and director of the foundry. It's quite important to know that these pieces you see in the, in the main gallery, mm -hmm. these five large half figures, he called them half figures and that's very important uh, to understand that they are not only heads, like you see here uh, behind me, one piece, which is really a head, uh, and the pieces in the in the large uh, gallery space, they are half figures, busts. It's it's all the time a head on a on a body, on a on a torso, on a torso, and for him it it was a very uh, important difference to make heads or or busts or. Uh, or half figures, how he called them, because when they, when you make a half figure, you have all the time a head on a torso, mm -hmm. and you have this 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 balance uh, of how the head is sitting on the torso, and then you have all these these architectonical questions of of how the volumes of the body relates to each other, and and not so much how a, a face is looking, because you. When you look at these pieces first, it's it's quite difficult to discern where is the nose and where is the mouth, and you have to learn a bit about uh, looking at these 
pieces. But it's really astonishing. Also for these late pieces, he was working with models. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the working titles are the, the names of the of these women he was working with. They was in a classical way like models standing or sitting in the studio for some hours and he was working on, on, on these pieces. And so if you are really close to the, the, to the oeuvre of Josefsson mm -hmm. and when you also know these this women, you can discern the pieces by, by, by knowing this is a Lola or this is a, a Ferena or, or so you, uh, you, you feel the a bit the, the difference of, of, the, of the persons. Uh, they are not so heavy as they are looking because they are hollow. Uh, they are around 250 kilograms, uh, the large pieces, and they are shipped very simply on pallets. You have to go close to the piece, but uh, he all the time said, you have to look, that's the most important thing. So that means to go back and, and see it from uh, some distance. But finally, for him it was important to have the, the, maybe the image of, of, of human, human beings in, in some general way. Yeah. They are not portraits in, in a strong sense. No. He worked with real people as mm. models, but finally he was not interested to do portraits of, mm. of this different persons.